It's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2024 Escape PHEV or plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. So it uses both the lithium ion battery plus a 2.5 liter Atkinson hybrid engine. It has an automatic transmission and it's a front wheel drive. It has a carbonized gray exterior and space gray interior, seating for five, four doors and a hatch. And you have the re power release for your lift gate. You have this nice moon roof that opens up. It's also powered as well with powered screen and many more features like navigation. If you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book it online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This has a 2.5 liter hybrid Atkinson engine. It is paired with an automatic transmission and it's a front wheel drive. Let's have a look inside. Storage and speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows, and mirrors. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar. All weather mats on the floor, and you have your lift gate release, gas cap release, and your lighting controls. And then on the face of the steering wheel, we have our lane keeping and cruise control, volume, menu, and hands-free dialing. And this is a push start, so my foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket, and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. On the dash, any important messages, the odometer reading, and you're seeing ready on the left-hand side. And that is because this is a plug-in hybrid. So whisper quiet when it starts up and you're using the lithium ion battery while you're idling and when you're about to repel and then after that the gas will kick in. And then in the center here we have our big display screen and it's just a protective cover. So we can go into sources, AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio as well as Bluetooth. You have a little mini map on the side here but you can choose from the different options and also go home and choose from there as well. So you can go into settings for instance and then you have different options in there. Change the look of your display screen, slide through for different things, connectivity and so forth. And then you can go back home for different options. You can go into your features and you're gonna find your owner's manual in there, power flow, charge settings, towing, drive modes. So in the drive modes, this is as your weather and your road conditions change, you can adapt by simply choosing a different drive mode. So right now, normal, or you can touch on eco. The icons will change, sport, and if the weather gets a little slippery on the roads, you can choose that for a little more traction. You also have dual heated and cooled seats for driver and passenger, as well as the climate control. You've got your AC, front defrost, as well as the rear, and you've got heated steering wheel as well. So your uh, vents are located there, hazard lights, and then down below the stop start, and then you can choose on different, there's your drive mode, so you can choose different options there. And then you've got your volume. Down below, you have your USB-C and USB, as well as a 12 volt dial shifter, electronic parking brake, and auto hold. Auto hold, so if you're on an incline or you're towing, and this has a class two trailer tow hitch, you would use the auto hold to keep you in place. A couple of cup holders, little cubbies all over the place, and lots of room to put things in your armrest. And then up top here, we have a manually dimming rear view mirror. You also have your lighting controls located there, sunglass holder, as well, you have a twin panel moonroof, as well as a screen that is powered. And I'm just doing the front portion here. This is as far as it goes, the back is fixed, and then you can bring the screen across to block out any light if you'd like to do that. And then there's a grab handle just off up to the side, just making it easier to get in. 18 inch wheels, mud flaps, charge port, and you have body colored door handle with intelligent access. That means when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors. Driver's side, capless, easy fuel gas filler. A little bit of a spoiler and a windshield wiper. And below the escape badge is where your backup camera is located, backup sensors on your bumper, and a class two trailer tow hitch. And then when you're ready and you wanna open up that lift gate, all you have to do is double click your fob. It'll power it open for you. Nice and roomy back here. You've got extra carpeted mats plus your plug-in and then you have your 12 volt off to the side and when you're ready to close it all up there is a handle on the right but you can also press the button and then it'll chime to let you know it's going down securely. And you just lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Storage and speaker in the door, as well as power windows. There's seating for three with a 60-40 split. And you simply 
pull the lever at the base and it'll bring the seat right down. You now have access to the back cargo area. You're seeing extra carpeted mats as well as a plug-in because this is a plug-in hybrid. And on the back of the seats are anchors to be able to tether baby seats. Then just give it a push back into the upright position. And in the center is an armrest with a couple of cup holders. All weather mats on the floor, slime pockets on the back of the front seat, air vents, and down below you have your USB outlets. You have this nice twin panel moonroof, hooks and handles, as well as lighting. Class two trailer tow hitch in the rear, privacy glass in the back windows with window vents, roof rails, adjustable side view mirrors with blind spot information system, auto high beams, fog lights, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments.